Hello, hope you all are doing well today. And uh, hopefully everybody's dug out of their Snowmageddon property by now. Uh, here in Ohio, at least, we got, well, of course, that big storm was going like clear across the U.S. Nevertheless, it was a good time in the snow. I um, was reading in my utmost for his highest uh, this morning. And he says a couple of things like uh, he says, sanctification means being made one with Jesus so that the nature that controlled him will control us. Um, the passage that he quotes is from 1 Thessalonians 5.23, which says, May the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. I think sometimes we get this misconception that sanctification uh, or being made holy means that I'll never make a mistake again. And, oh, friend, that is just not how it works. Uh, we... We will just continue to make mistakes uh, the, as long as we live in this body, in this flesh. However, <laughs> however, there is this reality that we live in as followers of Jesus in which we can truly um, submit ourselves to Christ at a level in which we can um, be at a place in our walk with God in which we can listen to the Holy Spirit and hear him and heed him. So I say all of that to say that, uh, that sanctification doesn't mean you and I will never make a mistake and blow it again and sin. Uh, that's that's just not how life works. Now, granted, I know there's there's some folks that believe that, but what sanctification does mean, it means that I'm being made one with Jesus so that the nature that controlled him will control us. And I think you all would agree that the longer you walk with the Lord, the, the more you truly come to a place of, I hope this is true with you, that you come to a place in which you truly just submit to him more and more, your life. You give him your life. And uh, you say, "I, God, I want you to be in control. I want you to just truly be uh, the Lord, the master of my life. And in doing so, what happens? Well, it means uh, and of course, throughout this whole process, you're staying in the scriptures more and more and more. And what happens is um, that Holy Spirit who abides in us, scripture tells us very plainly, he, he dwells within us. Uh, he'll convict you. He'll convict me um, when I'm doing something or heading down a path that is the wrong path. And convict me to not head down that path, but to um, head down the path of righteousness. And so um, there again, that means I must heed that voice, that still small voice. And yeah, there, it's true. There are times I don't and I must repent, but praise God, he truly does empower me to, to walk with him and, and to just have this so close abiding relationship with him. Wanted to encourage you with those words. Press on, friends. Have a great Tuesday.